Can you hear us? Mitchell Paget. Hello, Mitchell. Can you hear us? All right, Mitchell. So I guess if you can hear us, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'll do play-by-play, -play and um, we will, let's see, can you turn Scott's mic down just a tad? So mine's number two. Doo, doo, doo. How is that? Is that any better? Is that any better? Check, check, check. Oh, yeah, take that out while we're not doing spots. Can you hear me, Mitchell? Check, check, check. Check. Check, 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 check. Oh, here comes some typing. Your mic sounds good. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to go through what's going on so you can hear me kind of in a announcing kind of thing here. Tonight, Class 5A, Region 4, District 25, the Lockhart Lady Lions coming at 26-9 and nine overall. They're 10-1 in district play in second place. The Dripping Springs Lady Tigers coming at 26-15 and 15 overall, 11-0 in district play in first place. If Lockhart can win tonight, they'll end up being co-champions of the district, whereas the loss would have them as the number two seed. Our QA tonight is Mitchell Padgett. We appreciate him coming on and listening to us. Gain down just a tad. Let's see. All right. Hold on. Here we go. Check, 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 check. How's, how's this one? Lady Lions JV team right now is down 5-2. to two. There's the serve. Gripping Springs will dig it up. Set, and the spike, and it's in. That'll make it six to two, Dripping Springs. So that's perfect, okay. So let's go ahead and put that back in and run a spot for him. All right, we're gonna have a little bit of humming with our commercials, but here comes a spot. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, sir. Is there anything else you need us to do before we uh, call it quits here? We will go live at 6, but we will let you know about 5 minutes before we go live when we will go live. All right. Thank you, sir. So now we just leave everything as is and turn...
Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're here at Lockhart High School where it's 5A, Class 5A, Region 4, District 25 volleyball tonight. Tonight, it's the Lady uh, Tigers of Dripping Springs coming to town as they are 26 and 15 overall, 11 and 0 in district play. They are in first place, obviously. Second place are the Lockhart Lady Lions to come in 26 and 9 overall. They're 10 and 1 in district play. Their only loss was to this very Dripping Springs team when they went to Dripping Springs. Tonight's little uh, group of people we have, we actually got tag team and producing going on. Uh, QA tonight for us is Mitchell Padgett. We've had Mitchell Padgett throughout the year and throughout many of the years in different sports, and we appreciate having Mitchell on. Uh, I'm not going to hold the fact that he's a Cleveland Cavaliers fan against him, but we sure appreciate Mitchell for everything he does for us, making sure we're on the air and sounding good. My producer, to begin... We haven't heard from this guy since last year. A.J. Acosta is back in action tonight as he's got us set up. As I've said before, these people, we can't get on the air without these uh, seniors that we have at Lockhart. A.J. doing his first game since last year because he's tied up with band and they've been busy in competitions and everything. Anyways, we have him starting the night out. And then the usual... The other senior, McKelty Altier, will be coming in and taking over partially through the uh, competition because she's right now at choir practice and practicing for all that. So the stage is set. Myself, Scott Smith, bringing the play-by-play. -play. That's our group tonight. Um, we don't know if we're going to have other guests, people coming in, or anything like that, but I am going to real quickly go over... Um, I talked to both coaches before the match, and I had an interesting conversation with Dripping Springs coach. We actually talked for about 15, 20 minutes, and Michael Kane, the uh, Lady Tigers coach, gave me some stats that were just scary stats. Uh, he was telling me that his girls in the last seven years in district play are 96 and 2. They've won 96 matches and lost two. And yes, this district that we're in this year is a little down compared to what we've been in the past six years. But that says a lot to be in the district we were for the past five, six years. And for him to have that kind of record, that is truly amazing. The other stat he threw at me, if they beat us tonight, this will be the seventh straight district title for Dripping Springs at their high school. And he said what he loves about tonight's matchup is, is exactly what we all know. Coach Alex Bothy, who is in her second year with Lockhart, has this team completely turned around. It, they, these girls are playing hard. They're playing with a mission. And they are giving it everything they have. And he said he is so happy to be playing Lockhart because this is a wake-up call for his girls and getting them ready for the playoffs. Both of these teams already are in the playoffs. Who's going to be the number one seed is determined by tonight's game. If Lockhart wins tonight at home, they will be co-champions of this district. That's something that hadn't happened in quite a while here in Lockhart. So a huge match for the Lady Lions. As I said before, for Dripping Springs, they're trying to win their seventh straight district title, which, again, is just amazing. If you don't know a lot about Dripping Springs Volleyball, in recent years, not only were they state ranked, but they were nationally ranked as a program. So this is a big, huge game. Probably the biggest game Lockhart Volleyball's had in a long, long time. And the thing is, are they ready for the challenge? I'm, I'm looking at them warming up. I think they are. Like I said before, last year it seemed like there was always some kind of a rift going on this year. It's all about family. It's all about heart. It's all about caring for each other. And I really, truly think we're going to see a fantastic matchup. If you have not seen these girls of Lockhart play, get in your car and drive down to the gymnasium because 
This is probably one of the best teams we've had in a long, long time. Having said that, we still got some time to go here before we go, uh, go live. The teams are warming up. I can tell you this, we are definitely not as tall as Dripping Springs. They have got some very tall athletic girls. I watched the JV play in which they beat us in the JV match, and they had a girl taller than me in the JV, and I'm six foot tall. So again, a lot of height at Dripping Springs. Lockhart's got some tall girls, but nothing like what we're up against. Again, the difference. We've got a girl that's a senior who's already committed to the college ranks. We've got some juniors that are, I can't even explain what they are. They're like water bugs to me. They're everywhere all the time, digging balls out of the ground, diving into the stands, doing whatever it takes to get uh, uh, the ball in play for their teammates. We've got girls that can block the ball at the net. We've got girls that can spike. We've got great setters. And it all goes back to Coach Bothy. She has really done a great job with our program. And, you know, the one thing I like teasing her about, she didn't want to talk before this game because we've done the last two times. Uh, she wanted to just kind of let the girls do the, the um, interviews and whatnot. And I told her that was fine. But the thing that cracks me up is for someone who doesn't like to speak, She's had two of the best interviews we've had probably ever when it comes to the coaches. And that says a lot because we've got some great coaches around here who when they give an interview, they give a good interview. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a commercial break or two here. And uh, we'll come back and we'll do the interviews that we had with the Lady Lions. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network, KMAC Sports through Vite Magazine. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Hello Americans, Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. You can tell the Pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, KreitzMarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z Market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste, naturally. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School, and I'm going to steal the cord where I can do interviews here. And we had the two juniors decide that they were not wanting to talk by themselves, so they went together, and that is uh, Kaylee Reynolds and Callie Krenz went with a team interview. Callie was dead set against it, but since she had a buddy, she decided to do it. So here we go. This is what... Callie Krenz and Kaylee Reynolds had to say in their interview. This is Scott Smith with Lion Country Broadcast Network, KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. I am here with juniors, Kaylee Reynolds and Callie Krenz. Now we're going to do a group interview here because neither one really wanted to talk about themselves. So here we go. So my first question goes to your junior season. How has your junior season gone? We're doing great. We are 10 and 1. All right, now the second question is pretty simple. What are your goals for the remainder of the season? To make it to state. And then I'm going to ask each of you, we'll go with you first, who do you want to give a shout out to? I would like to give a shout out to my mom and dad for always coming and supporting me at my games. Callie, what about you? I'd like to give a shout out to my mom and dad coming to support me at all my games also. All right, well there are the two junior superstars that we're interviewing for tonight. Hello, Kaylee. Thank you very much, and good luck tonight. Thank you. All right, so that, that was the two that they weren't real sure they wanted to do that, but I thought they did pretty good. So 
So then we're going to go with the two seniors. I didn't give them a choice. The two seniors had to go by themselves. Kelsey Stevens will be the one that we go with first. And here's what she had to say. This is Scott Smith of Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports. We are here with Kelsey Stevens, senior for the Lady Lions volleyball team. And basically, how has your senior season gone for you? My senior year has gone fantastic. Right now, we are 10 and 1. That's a very good answer. All right. Now, what are your goals for the rest of the year? My goal is to go to state. Right now, we are in a position to go to playoffs, and we want to go far. That sounds great. Now, who do you want to give a shout-out to? I want to give a shout-out to my mom and my grandma for always coming to the games to support me. Thank you very much, and you have a good night tonight, and we wish you luck. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, and that was Kelsey Stevens. And finally, we have Brooklyn Miller, senior. And here's what Brooklyn had to say for her game tonight. Hey, Scott Smith from Lion Country Broadcast Network, KMAX Sports, to Vibe Magazine. I am here with Brooklyn Miller, senior of the volleyball team. First of all, Brooklyn, how's your senior season going? It's going great. We're 10 and 1, and we have secured a spot in playoffs. Very good. And your second question is pretty much the same. What are your goals for the rest of the year? To make it all the way to state. All right. And who would you like to give a shout out to? Shout out to my mom and dad to always coming to my games. All right. Again, that was Brooklyn. And Brooklyn, thank you very much. Good luck to you. Oh, thank God. So there you have it. Four girls, and all four of them combined, I think, didn't even talk for two minutes, maybe two and a half. So that's what we have going on there. Now, I know he's not wanting to do this, but I really don't care. We're going to talk with AJ. So AJ... Uh, one of these days, we're going to have to put our cars up against each other, see who's got a better one. But here, here's the deal, AJ. I want to know, you've been in a lot of competitions and things. How have you guys done this year in your band competitions? We, is this working? Yep. Okay. We have been killing it at all of them. And the, um, we went to three so far, and we got second at the first one, and then we got second at the second one. And then the last one we just went to, we got um, 11th out of 16 in the preliminaries. Not bad. Well, and if you've not seen our band, I'm telling you what, the choreograph and all that stuff that goes on, I don't know how you guys do that without falling down. I'd be falling all over the place. It's impressive to watch. My wife loves watching our band because of how – talented they are and I'm not gonna you know say on the air that you know AJ is always saying that he carries the band and you know and and I'm sure my neighbor Mr. D's over there across the street from me I'm sure he carries the band as well in his group so anyways the band's done well um AJ when you get back from the band and whatever uh you do realize what I've done with uh McKelty is she has to lead into the commercials with you're listening to Lion Country. So you better start practicing that in front of the mirror or something because that's going to be what you're going to be doing here before long. Again, we have, they were juniors when they started, and these two young people are amazing with what they do for us. I am not at all good with things like this, and if it was not for these two people, we would not be on the air ever. Emilio, Emilio is a little smarter at this than I am and more savvy at it than I am. All I know how to do is talk. So that's pretty much what it comes down to. If it was not for AJ McKelty, we couldn't do what we do. And I just want him to know, because I said the same thing about McKelty and football, that we appreciate you guys and we thank you very much for everything that you do for us. Anything else you want to talk about tonight? No. Okay, well, I'm going to let him off the hook then. We're going to go to another commercial break and get things ready to go here. We're not far away from what is going to be the biggest game in Region 4, District 25 of the year. This is basically like a championship setting. So you're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports. Ranch began with a real estate 
Let the search for your next home, farm, or ranch begin with Kent Riddle. Kent Riddle is a real estate broker specializing in residential, farm, and ranch property sales and leasing. Finding your dream property begins with a call to Kent Riddle Real Estate at 512-801-9771. Kent Riddle Real Estate is a proud supporter of Lockhart Lion Athletics. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. Their appointment call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School where the two teams are still warming up as we're getting ready to play what is going to be for the district title tonight. Now, granted, everybody still has some games left, but the way the district uh, play has kind of played out here is that uh, it pretty much runs through Lockhart and Dripping Springs. McCallum gave Lockhart a great match the other night in a gym that was freezing cold. Well, outside, the temperature matches what that gymnasium was when we were there. But uh, inside, it's nice, warm, and toasty here. And uh, like I said, the Dripping Springs girls are very tall because they're in front of me right now and I can't even see the court. Um, very tall, very athletic, and uh, they just it's amazing how much taller they are than us. So real quickly, going to go how these two teams got here the last three matches. For Dripping Springs, as I said, they're 26 and 15 overall. They're 11 and 0 in district play. They have won 11 straight volleyball co uh, competition matches. Their head coach is Michael Kane, and again, I had a really good conversation with him and had a lot of good things to hear about him, and he was very complimentary of Coach Bothy as well. How the, their last three matches, they beat Crockett three to nothing, they beat Lanier three to one, and they beat LBJ three to nothing. Now, next Tuesday, we'll be doing the Lockhart Lady Lions again here at home, and we'll be playing LBJ on that given night as well. LBJ is kind of fighting for that playoff spot as well. McCallum is in the mix as well, but LBJ is kind of in fourth spot right now. I think McCallum may have already clinched third, um, but right now, second is decided depending upon this match. First and second are going to be decided after tonight pretty much because from here on out, neither one of these teams should lose. And uh, it would be nice for Lockhart to be able to come in here on the home court Already a pretty good sized crowd and get things done. For the Lockhart Lions, they came in, they beat McCallum the other night three to two, and that game didn't start until 9 p.m. and it was at McCallum High School. And we didn't get back, I didn't get back home to about 12.30 that night. The games were over at about 12 in that ballpark. Then they turned around and played Reagan and beat them three to nothing. And then they played Travis and they pretty much rolled over them three to nothing. Shout outs. Going to give shout-outs to people who have been helpful for me with the volleyball program and giving me scores and updates and things like that. I'd like to give a shout-out to Leslie Krenz, who's always giving me messages about what's going on. Melissa Ruggio also giving me updates on scores and the happenings of what's going on with volleyball. Her husband, Sean, who's not standing far from me, has done the same for me in matches when people just weren't there to help me out. And then the other guy who's literally standing beside him and missed... I don't know if we really want to go there, but Mr. Cadillo, Rudy Cadillo, always giving us signs, scores, and everything else. He's going to get to relax tonight and actually film and watch the match instead of telling me what's going on. But uh, I enjoy his text messages because I get to read how a parent feels about the con uh, competition, and it, and it makes me think back of my daughter's days when she was competing and how much I miss that now considering my daughter's getting married next summer. So... She no longer doing that kind of thing. Going through our, uh, our roster real quick, since the teams are still warming up, just going to go straight down the line and talk about each girl. First off, number one, Carla Cadillo is a junior. If you've not seen this girl play, whether it be soccer, whether it be uh, volleyball, you you got to come watch her. She's always all over the place. 
She works her tail off. She does all the little things that coaches love. Again, diving into the stands, things like that. Those are the things you'll see from this athlete. For the most part, she kind of is that even kill on the court that kind of keeps people under control when maybe they're getting upset about things. But again, if you want to see effort, come watch the girl play. Number three, Callie Krenz, a junior. She's five foot three, plays like she's six foot four. The girl can flat get off the floor. She can get up there and block shots. She can get up there and spike. She digs the ball off the ground. She does everything that is needed to be done to get this going. Kia Young, another one that can hit the ball hard. She's so athletic. Just a great senior athlete. Abby Ruggio, kind of the star of the team. She's already signed with a, uh, to a scholarship to play volleyball at the college level. She pretty much leads in most categories that involve, you know, serving and things of that nature. Has a nasty left-handed jump serve. Got Lainey Adair, she's a junior. Again, an athlete coming off the bench that does things that is really, again, heart and soul kind of player that you like to have come off the bench because they're going to work hard for you. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Miller gets it done in all facets of the game. She can hit. She can block. She does it all. It's fun to watch her. You got Kaylee Reynolds, a junior. She's very athletic, very tall, and she can flat hammer the ball and is someone to watch. I definitely want to see her because I remember her putting uh, one off someone's head the other day, and it, uh, that girl didn't even really know who she was afterwards. Number 10, Sydney Shaw, another senior. She can block. She can hit. She's just a great athlete, and she's also the star of the basketball team returning. So it'll be nice to see her in basketball, but right now she's tearing it up with volleyball. The youngest girl on the team, Michaela Leva, she's a great player. She's a really good athlete. She doesn't get a whole lot of playing time. She's a sophomore, but she's good enough to be on that team. And when she does get to play again, that kind of heart and soul player. And then last but not least, you have Kelsey Stevens, a senior. And uh, another one of those players that can do just about anything. She's going to hit the ball for you. She's going to be able to set some uh, balls up for people. And uh, we're getting pretty close here right now to things getting ready to start off. Remember, at the end of the game, we'll have the Chuck Nash Offensive Player of the Game and the Farm Bureau Defensive Player of the Game. I'm going to let you guys listen to what's going on, so I'm going to be quiet.
All right, well, we're back here. Now we're just waiting for everybody to get going. I'm going to give up the chairs to the young stallions here. As we are getting ready for Region 4, District 25, Class 5A Girls Volleyball. This is for the district title tonight. We have got a good crowd here tonight. If you're not here, you need to get here. <laughs> oh, goodness. I love this job. <laughs> so, um, I'm just... We're getting ready to, Dripping Springs has a lot of tall girls and I can't see the match, so I'm gonna have to ask them to get out of the way. <laughs> I don't know what they feed these kids in Dripping Springs, but they're all tall, that's for darn sure. <laughs> Cause I'm not short, most of them are my height. All right, so here we go, we're getting ready to go. It'll be Dripping Springs. I believe, no, it's going to be Abby Rougeau actually starting things off for us tonight. And I will try my best to get Dripping Springs under control as far as who's who and everything else really quickly in this. So Abby Rougeau will start things off, our senior left-hander. She'll come out with them with a jump serve. And here we go. Doug up there by Lebovitz. She dinks it over the side. Ruggio to Kranz. Over the top, and it's in. She knocks it home. Ruggio to Kranz, making it one to nothing to start the match off. And again, folks, I'm going to do my best to keep up with the numbers here. Ruggio serve again. Stop there by Murray. Murray over to number 12. That is Cal Kalsu. Ruggio to Reynolds. Ruggio digs it over to Kranz. Oh, and it just falls, just falls over the net. I don't know how Kranz got that over, but she did. That was a great play by Kranz. It almost looked like it wasn't going to make it over, and it did. So here comes Ruggio again. And it's out. So it's going to be two to one. Again, we're trying to get everybody caught up to speed here with the people on them, so I'm highlighting as I go. Serving there by D Driggs over to Ruggio. Down by Shaw, and it goes out. It's 2-2. Two to two. So Driggs with the first serve in. Here comes Driggs' serve. Krenz with it. To Ruggio. Reynolds with it. Or Miller, I'm sorry. Nice hit there by Murray. But Shaw says no thank you. And she gets the block. 3-2 to two Lockhart. Getting ready to get set up here with Miss Callie Krenz, the junior. 3-2 to two Lockhart. Callie Krenz with the jump serve. Nice serve. They were able to dig. Great dig there by Murray. They send it long. That was number seven, Driggs, and she able to spike it home, making it three to three. This is going to be a tight contest. Both teams well coached. Very good athletes on both sides. And I'm trying to find out who it is. Serving it looks like that's Murray. She'll get it in there to Reynolds. Reynolds will hit it over. Nice job there by Driggs. And she goes... Over to number nine. Nine is Murray. Murray was able to spike it home in the back line and is now four to three, Dripping Springs. Back and forth we've gone so far. Murray again with the jump serve. Cadillo with the dig. Ruggio gets it up in the air. Cadillo over the net. It's over to Driggs. Driggs hits it over to number eight, Burke holds. Ruggio gets it. Over to uh, Miller. Back over it goes. Nice spike there by number five, Lebovitz. We were able to put it back over the net with Shaw. Back and forth we're going. Ruggio, she's going to try to set it up. Oh, and just misplayed it. There's number nine, Kaylee Reynolds. 
It hits the net and falls down. It's now five to three in favor of Dripping Springs. Murray still serving. Unfortunately, their number is white and the shirt is white. But I'm pretty sure that's who that is. Shaw from Ruggio. What a hit by Shaw. Ruggio sets the table. Shaw finishes it off five to four. Dripping Springs on top. That'll bring up Sidney Shaw to serve for us. And there's her serve. Nice serve, good dig. They bring it over to Krenz. That was Murray who did that. Good job by Young. Nice hit, oh my gosh. Murray hammered that home. Krenz gets it over the net. Back and forth we go. Here comes Young again. Uh, man, I'm sorry. That was Murray again. She dinks it over the side and it makes it six to four in favor of Dripping Springs. So it now will be number 18, serenading, serving. And it hit the net, so it's going to go back to Lockhart, 6-5. to five. This will bring up Brooklyn Miller, senior, who we had interviewed before the game. Nice serve. Dug up there by Griggs. Oh my goodness, Murray comes home. Mackenzie Murray with a great spike. And it's in, seven to six. Or seven to five, check that, seven to five. So who is it now? They're gonna, so gonna call timeout. Dripping Springs, seven to five. We're gonna take a real quick break here. Kevin Mills, CPA, is here to help you with personal or business tax return preparation, payroll processing, business financial statements, or consulting for accounting software. Kevin is a longtime QuickBooks Pro Advisor. At Kevin Mills CPA, relationships are the cornerstone of our business. All new clients receive a free half-hour consultation to ensure we get our relationship started on the right foot. Begin your relationship with Kevin Mills CPA by calling 512-376-4212 or find him on the web at Kevin Mills cpa.com Thinking about getting your vehicle or trailer wrapped? Try the best. Go to Laser Signs in Lockhart. They have fantastic graphic design. We're back here at Lockhart High School. We're 7-5 Dripping Springs. Looks like we have Murray on the serve. Again, this is for the district championship. Nice set there by Miller. Young with a great hit. That'll make it 7-6. She came down hard on that one. Good job there by Kia Young. Kaylee Reynolds now on the serve. And it's hard and down. They dig it up. And they come back over from the other side. And it was a nice hit. Number five, Lebovitz with it. Makes it eight to six. And every time Lockhart makes a run back, they get stopped by Dripping Springs. This is going to be a back and forth match all night long. Stevens checks back into the match as Reynolds checks out. Nice dig there by Reynolds. Or Stevens checked that. Nice job again by Stevens. Oh, but it just doesn't get over the net. She tried to dig it up from the ground. It makes it 9-6. to six. Right now we have Dodson serving. She served the first point in. She'll be on, ready to roll. Here's the serve. It's a net and it falls in. Make that 10 to 6. Dodson ready to try to serve her third one in.